I am Dr. Shrujit Ghosh. Welcome to my channel, Dr. Ghosh Presents. Top 10 homeopathic remedies for mouth diseases. To start with, just introduction. What are common mouth diseases? Number one, fever blister or oral herpes or cold sore. This is the commonest of all mouth diseases. It is a viral disease. It looks like blisters generally seen on the lip. Please look at the image on the right hand side. Cause it spreads from close contact, shared utensil, clothes, unhealthy habits. Because it is infective, so all type of viral infection, uh, the common mode is applicable here. Symptoms. First attack gives a lot of trouble. Burning, itching, tingling in the blisters. The soil up, become red, then burst out. Fluid emits, caps form, which crack and bleed. Not a matter of concern. Cure with, comes within generally 5 to 7 days if healthy habits are maintained. In case of severe infection, medical help is required. Number 2. Thras or candidiasis. Mainly seen in oral cavity, throat, etc. But maybe elsewhere. It is a fungal infection caused by Candida albicans. Just look at the image of Candida albicans on the right hand side. This is Candida albicans. Microscopic view. Cause weak immune system, antibiotics, diabetes. Some medicine like corticosteroid, inhaler, etc. may cause thrust problem. Symptoms. Seen in cheek. Tongue, throat, gum, lips as white or yellowish swollen patches. Pain, soreness, distaste in mouth, bad breath, difficulty in mastication are common. Persons suffering from AIDS and HIV are often attacked with thrush. Number three, canker sore or aphthous ulcer, commonly seen as small blisters on tongue. Note the image. This is the image of, on the right hand side, I have shown uh, aphthous ulcer. Tongue, lips, cheek, gum. But these are not infective as cold source cause. Not known. Want of vitamins, stress, hypersensitivity of skin are considered provocative. Symptoms. Difficulty in eating, talking, etc. Stays for about two weeks. Gargling with warm 0.1% saline water is efficacious. Lichen planus with buccal cavity within buccal cavity or on tongue, fine lacy white or shining red bumpy patches are known as lichen splinters, which is on the right hand side. Lichen planus cause not known definitely symptoms, pain and soreness. However, in mild type, no serious problem is noted, but in serious type, occasional malignancy is seen. Malignancy means it may turn into oral cancer. Or number five, leukopakia, plakia, seen as thick, undetachable white patch or spot in mouth, may be seen in gum, cheek, tongue, too. Cause, substance of addiction made of tobacco like bidi, cigarettes, coiny, jordar, snuff, smokeless cigarettes and alcohol. Symptoms, spots or patches are not scrapable. Stick firmly with base. Use of force creates deep ulcer with bleeding profusely, not amenable to ordinary medicine. Many a case appears as a precursor of cancer. That is, from ligoprechia, many times, it is seen that many times cancer creates. Cancer is created actually from this ligoprechia. Nonetheless, all are not turned into cancers. Gum diseases. Gingivitis is a first step of gum diseases. Cause error in maintenance of oral hygiene, smoking, Low quality of diet, stress. Symptoms, gum swelled up and become red. Bleeding during brushing, pain and bad breath. Periodontitis. After gingivitis comes periodontitis. It is actually severe gum infection that causes gum shrinkage and damage of jawbone. Please look at the picture on the right hand side. This is the picture of 
periodontitis caused aggravated gingivitis caused receding of gum from tooth this is receding of gum from tooth this you see the tooth or it, the tooths are denuded pockets are formed between gums and between gum and tooth tartar plaque food debris accumulate there to result in infection and abscess formation symptoms halitosis halitosis means bad breath severe distress in mouth swelling of gum bleeding tooth trouble in eating loosening of tooth and falling of tooth bad breath or halitosis food debris remaining in the mouth purely putrefy sorry putrefy food debris remaining in the mouth putrefy to generate bacteria which is the cause of bad breath this is in fact a symptom of many diseases of mouth and a disease in itself continued respiration through mouth dry mouth dental caries gum ulcers even diabetes can create bad breath regular proper cleaning of mouth cavity by brushing teeth tongue flossing teeth washing of mouth cavity with normal saline or antiseptic mouth wash can ward off bad breath if still bad breath disturbs contact a dentist aspirin burn some people to lessen toothache keep an aspirin tab near the table tooth but as a result no benefit accrues to them rather acid arising out of aspirin creates an irregular white ulcer in gum or cheek it is called aspirin burn look at the picture on the right hand side below avoid trouble by just swallowing the tablet or don't keep it on the tooth just swallow it there is no trouble will be there after it is formed saline water pulling twice or thrice a day would lessen the trouble generally it goes off within 3 4 days spontaneously 11 cavity or dental caries once a cavity is formed the case becomes an exclusive jurisdiction of a dental surgeon there is little scope of treatment with remedies only in such a case that is physical therapist or homeopaths who generally treat with medicines only have little scope in this type of disease cause root cause is failure to take regular proper care of tooth and failure to consult a dentist in time bacteria in mouth reacts with carbohydrates to generate acid which along with saliva food debris creates plaque long deposited plaque on tooth decay on tooth decay the enamel of the tooth to create cavity symptoms bad breath distress in mouth tooth swelling of face pain in face inability to bear heat and cold things in mouth now look at the picture on the right hand side this is caries this apparent now this is normal tooth on the normal tooth the first layer from top from outside also the enamel on the enamel this uh, plaque is formed and plaque generally decays this enamel and when the enamel is completely lost this type of cavity is formed number 12 abscess on gum cause deep infection of gum dental caries abscess may be seen in gum line root of teeth or periodontal tissue symptoms pain soreness swelling secretion of pus and blood yearic fever sensitivity to heat and cold difficulty to eat and drink number 13 discoloration of tooth due to various reason when teeth do not appear to be as white or bright as they should be the state is called discoloration of tooth cause as per cause it may be of three type intrinsic cause is in the system is in the system the system of the person like genetic or familial extrinsic the cause lies outside the system like foods drinks things of addiction environment etc age related see age related that is at late age enamels of tooth may erode when yellowish enamel becomes visible now homeopathic remedies number 1 arsenic come for mouth diseases fetid malicious ulcers or bluish aphthous ulcer please look at the picture on the right hand side the <laughs> bluish aphthous ulcer diarrhea or tremendous weakness huge salivation from mouth very much disturbed or anxious this drinks little water a little often patient become patient thinks that the disease is incurable it is of no use to take medicine he won't live anymore 
travel increase in midnight and midday. The symptoms underlined are general symptoms. General symptoms means these are the most important. These are the most important thing. When this matches with the patient, the medicine acts nicely. Number two, Bacteria Parabontis is bleeding from purple gum. Severe halitosis, brown tongue. Brown tongue. Look the picture. Brown tongue, severe prostration, stool with too much offensive odor. Can drink liquid only. Little solid food gags. Too much salivation. This is the general symptom. Most important to select the medicine for a particular case. Number three, borax for mouth diseases, a predefined remedy for babies. After ulcer, after gastroenteritis, nursing baby, but refuses to give mother's nipple. Mouth hot, reddish, vesicle in mouth, reddish vesicle in mouth, greenish watery, greenish diarrhea, day and night, with pitiful mood, crying. Urine is very hot, profuse salivation. Babies fear swinging in cradle. Fear swinging or fear motion, particularly downward motion, is the characteristic of borax. Calcare a carb for mouth diseases. Mouth sometimes very dry, sometimes very much salivation. Canker sore in cheek during dentition. Stool, urine, sweat, everything is sour smelling. This is character, characteristic of calcare carb feature. Calcare carb, every inhalation from body is sour smelling. Fear, darkness, very much. Very forgetful and sad, highly restless, anxious, irritable, timid, but stubborn. These are general symptoms. These are general symptoms of the patient, not of the disease. The disease symptoms is this. This is the source, canker source. Number five, canther is for mouth disease. Very much smarting, burning in canker sore or vesicles in mouth, mouth dry. Patient feel urged for urine always, but void only few drops. Used to suffer from diarrhea or dysentery. Strong aversion to all types of food, drinks and addiction. It is the characteristic symptom of cantharis. Now, uh, you may think that what is the purpose of this particular symptom? Patient feel urged for urine always. We are discussing about mouth diseases. How this problem comes? Mind this, selection of remedy in homeopathy depends mainly on three. Number one, in acute cases, causation, how the disease is caused, and some concomitant symptom, that is a symptom which is not related to the disease, but present in the patient. These are called concomitant symptoms. The patient are feeling urging, urge for urine always, whether mouth disease is concerned, this disease, this symptom is a concomitant symptom. I mean, if it is there, you can you can select this cantharis. The patient suffering from some mouth trouble, yet there the urine, filling urging of urine, void only few drops, used to suffer from diarrhea, dysentery. If these concomitant symptoms are there, you can definitely select cantharis for the case. So this is uh, called concomitant. And the last symptom is general symptom which relates to the patient. These three symptoms are most important symptoms. Causation, concomitants, and general symptoms. Other, you see, someone suffering from mouth disease, the problem of mouth will be there. These are common symptoms. These are not too much important. Unless this, is, this uh, particular symptoms is characterized by special uh, qualifications. Number six, carbophage for mouth disease. Gum receipts bleeds easily. Bloody saliva, oozing of blood, edges of gum yellowish with indentation. Black tongue, mind it, black tongue. This is a rare situation. Black tongue, hot mouth. Patients like rapid fanning from a close distance. These are carbophage general feature, general symptoms. Dislike darkness, fear, ghosts. Loosen, like to loosen clothing around the waist. These are general symptoms. Fatalaka for mouth disease, very painful small ulcer on the right cheek, pain shooting, electrifying from coal of fire, as if from coal of fire or red hot iron, worse in night and 
from heat. Profuse salivation. Patients chilly, worse from cold, wet, rainy weather, general symptoms. Suffer from different types of arthritis, gland related ailments. Some concomitant symptoms, chronic concomitant symptoms, uh, just featuring that phytoloca is required here. 8. Mercurius for mouth disease. Gum scorbutic. Scorbutic, you know, scorbutic with spongy gum. Much salivation, fitty, bloody. Base of ulcer like lard, whole mouth cavity inflamed. Ulcers on gum, swelling of glands around the ear, neck, along with diarrhea and tenismus. Concomitant symptoms. Upon your mouth diseases, gland affections, diarrhea, tenismus is coming. Calimure for mouth disease, fitted follicular stomatitis with soreness of affected part, too much salivation, gangrenous stomatitis of babes. Number 10, salicylic acid for mouth disease, many dotted ulcer inside the mouth. Look at this picture. Many dotted ulcer, many dotted ulcer in the inside the mouth. Burning and scalding sensation in ulcers, ulcer on tip of the tongue, halidosis. For more information on the subject, please consult homeopathic therapeutics by Dr. Samuel Lilienthal. Mind this, this book may contain from 50 to 60 medicine on the subject. If you want to know details, you please consult this. With this, the video ends. If you feel any trouble, any trouble, please write down in the comment section. I will certainly reply. Thanks for listening and viewing.